What's up everyone, it's Mike here from Fair Game Toy Store and today we are bringing you another unboxing. I know I'm doing a lot of unboxings on the channel, but I am trying to upload content for you guys daily. I won't have a, like a unboxing every single day, uh, but it is just something I'm working on, like just bringing you guys content. I know the more consistent I am, the better ideas. I'm trying to, like when I'm at work, all I'm trying to do right now is think of ideas to do for YouTube like I, there's so many possibilities and things like thinking what you guys would like to see what you don't want to see uh, I know people just in general um, collection videos and mystery boxes or not mystery box well mystery box openings are very good for people to open on channels um, unboxings people get to see like what you've added to your collection pop hunts I want to try to do one of those but uh, I, I'm not sure because really, in public I really don't get much. Like the chase that I got from Hot Topic the other day was just like a fluke thing. I've never gotten a chase in public that I didn't know was gonna be right there at that very moment. Um, like already anticipating it being there. I've never went and like waited in line and now I can't, especially with my job. Um, other than that, uh, I'm just, brainstorming really if you guys have any ideas leave it in the comments um, and then maybe if I like your idea I'll just tag you in a video hit you up message you on YouTube see what you want me to tag social media wise and be like hey I, they got me the idea so but let's get right into this uh, I want to say at least three of these are going in the mystery box guaranteed so uh, here we get right into this. I'm going to open up the smaller one first. So that way, uh, because if going by logic to me, I guess maybe not to everyone else. I want to say the ones in the smaller boxes are going to be the ones worth the least amount of value. Like putting in a bigger box means you really don't want to get it damaged, but you never know. People might have the not the same way of thinking as me, but this one's actually double box. All right. Um, it says Monopoly Uncle Penny bag with the bag of money. So let's see if that actually is what it is. Um, and it is. So here we go. Uh, we're actually going to have the Monopoly man with a bag of money from the Funko shop. This one is guaranteed going into the mystery box. I actually, uh, so let's move this. Also guys, it's that time of the year. Eggnog. Like the vanilla spice Southern Comfort, it just tastes like Christmas. Delicious guys. I would recommend it if you guys like eggnog. Try that one out. It's very, very good. Uh, so we'll go ahead and set that right up here so you can see it right in the frame. Uh, so, yeah, this one will go in. I'm going to value it at about $30. I uh, think that's really realistically what it's going for. So, uh, it's not going to be one of the Grail Grails, but it is going to be in the next mystery box for you guys watching, if you guys are interested in that, um, which I'm going to try to go up uh, this weekend for uh, Columbus Day. Like, not for Columbus Day, but over Columbus Day weekend. Um, th here's another one, double box. And if you guys can't tell what this is, if you guys don't see the font, this one is, in fact, going in the mystery box as well. Um, this is going to be one that many of you are after, I would hope, I guess. I don't like to pick, like, uncommon pops to put it in the mystery box, because then what's the fun in if you actually get one that's worth value? So it looks like it was never opened by the guy who sent it to me. And here we are. Bigfoot with marshmallow, and the box looks mint. Same thing with uh, the Mr. Monopoly. Both boxes came mint, so this is gonna be one of the next reveals I post on Instagram for the mystery box, but you guys are one step ahead watching here on YouTube. So let's move that over. So those two in the mystery box, guaranteed. Um, so if you guys are looking for that, we got a good lineup coming so far. We got uh, Lucky the Leprechaun, Ad Icon, Conan as Spider-Man, and we are adding these two to that lineup. 
Hey, this one's really taped. And this one looks like it might be a personal one. I actually haven't decided if I am going to keep it or not quite yet, which if you guys can see, another Bigfoot. So I think I want to keep this one. Um, it looks like both are mint, so uh, it really doesn't matter which one. But I wanted to, I, I just can't decide. I was really disappointed that I missed out on it. Um, but you can only order one anyway, so I did order two from eBay, uh, just because I know you guys will like it. Um, I, man, I am using um a lot, uh, 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 um, but I picked up one because I knew you guys would like it for sure. Going into the mystery box, I wanted to give you guys new pops, like, it, so if you pull something out, like, oh my gosh, there's the Bigfoot, I missed out on the Funko Shop, but here it is. Or, if you did get it on the Funko Shop, you pull it up, there's Trade Bait to get something else that you liked. Trade Bait or sell it, and then you can get what you wanted. Um, either way, you are getting something that is very popular. So, if you got this in the mystery box, it's not your cup of tea, you wanted to sell it, it would be very easy to sell. That's kind of what I was going for, or that's kind of what I go for in general. Um, the commons are a little different because they're just inventory that I do have. I haven't been selling and updating the site with pops as much as I would like to get rid of that inventory. Maybe I should start doing that or focusing on that a little more because it's very hard to get the lineups for mystery boxes sometimes because eBay, the prices are usually pretty inflated. You have to sit there and wait to actually get something for Stashpedia. People know that the 10 and 15% coupons come out once in a while. Also, this is an eBay bucks month. I'm going to buy something for my personal collection because that's kind of what I do with those. I'll buy for the store and the mystery box and then I'm going to buy myself something just to kind of treat myself. I don't know if it's going to be a hot toy or a pop yet. I do have a decent amount so I can get a pretty good deal on a pop. Um, so, I... This is the one that I, I believe it's what I think it is. Let's see. Man, this is, I've never had so many people in one unboxing video or even one session where I just sit down and unbox everything I got to look at it and sort of do it for a mystery box. Double box stuff. So this guy bubble wrapped it and double boxed. I'm gonna have to be sure to leave these guys good feedback on eBay. So. I actually see what it is. It's in another sorter. If I I have plenty of sorters already, so I need to start getting rid of those. Or maybe I can actually box uh, the mystery box grails and sorters, and then put them in the eight by six by five box that we do. But usually I buy the two hundred crush or the yeah the crush resistant boxes. I don't go with the thirty two, just so I can kind of guarantee that you guys are getting them in good condition. Uh, I like to. Like anything that is in the first picture of the 17 pops that would technically be a win, uh, I do denote if they have damage or not. And if you get it damaged, I mean, it's a win, but I would still be pretty disappointed myself if I got them damaged. That's why we bubble wrap them, put them in a pop protector, and in the 200 crush box. We just want to guarantee, or I want to guarantee personally that you guys have the best like chance to get them mint. Um, and that's kind of what like collectors want now. They're, there's especially pops because they're so easy to view, like in just display outside or inside the box. And rather, I guess, it is way better to have them mint and get you guys them in mint so they're worth what they really are going to be worth. The box is so much of the value now. I want to say my brother was doing some research and it's actually like. Like with pops, it's close to 50% of the value. If you don't have the box, it's definitely going to sell for close to that. So here we are. Looks like this bad boy is mint. And this is going to be a very popular one. I am going to stick it in the mystery box. Guaranteed because if I want one, I'm just going to pick one up for myself. Like this was bought for you guys. So here we are. Gene LaFoot from Captain Crunch, another ad icon. There is kind of a theme with these. So, I don't want to spoil some more of the contents, but I think there might be another 
add icon going to the box outside of Lucky the Leprechaun, Gene the Foot, or however you say it. I think it's Gene. Yeah, it's gotta be. It's gotta be the Foot. But this is the next reveal. We're gonna have Bigfoot with Marshmallow, Gene the Foot, and Mr. Monopoly with Money Bags. If I add the other Bigfoot, haven't decided yet, it will be in the mystery box after this one. So that way I'm not just throwing a whole bunch of Bigfoots in there. Uh, but these guys are what are going to be in the mystery box confirmed. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, if there's a specific pop you guys notice, oh, I was looking at... That's not really damage, I guess, but I want to put the mint one in the box. But if there's any pop that you guys know, or if you guys are trying to sell pops in the $30 to $40 range, that for me is the hardest, or I guess let's change that from $25 to $40. That for me is the hardest to buy. A lot of the Funko Shop exclusives, um, without giving anything away, I don't want to let you guys know another, another set of pops I'm going to buy, but a lot of the Funko Shop exclusives are in that range of $50. 40 to 50, especially if they're at Icon. Like, Gene LaFoot, $21, you can get them shipped. Now he's selling probably for like 60, 70. But uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you guys got any ideas, specific pops, I can look for them on eBay. Uh, I also go on Facebook to find some, but I actually use my personal account so that way people don't know it's me. Just kind of do fair trading and stuff like that. Uh, I don't want any special treatment because I'm doing mystery boxes. I do pay Stash Pedia price unless I win an eBay auction. Sometimes I get a little bit cheaper, but I try to pay Stash Pedia price because that's the fair thing to do. So let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you like the video, let me know. Um, other than that, I'll see you guys next time.